Hi friends, this is Professor Manoj Kadam, and I'm going to explain static topics, namely friction. In engineering mechanics, basically two types of parts are considered: that is statics as well as dynamics. We will briefly focus on the friction topic. In a paper, statics has a weightage of 60 marks, and dynamics has also a weightage of 60 marks. Total 120 marks question is there with the options. Generally, students prepare for statics and they will not focus on the dynamics concepts. Let's we will focus on the friction topic. When friction occurs, when two bodies are in contact with each other, resistance offered by the surface to the body is known as friction. Friction is always opposite to the direction of motion. Let's take an example of inclined plane concept. Let one block, say block A, having weight 100 Newton, is kept on an inclined plane having inclination of 30 degree. And we want to find the force P required to move this block up. As this block is trying to move up, we will set the motion of this block by the double arrow. This is motion. As this block is trying to move up, friction cause at the contact surface. Friction is exactly opposite to the direction of motion. This block is trying to move up, therefore the friction comes downwards. Friction is referred as F equals mu into N, where mu is coefficient of friction. That is static friction we are going to consider over here and N is the reaction that is reaction offered by the body to the surface reaction is always perpendicular to the surface when the block is kept on an inclined surface self weight is always dissolved into two components one is along the surface and another one is perpendicular to the surface that is normal to surface so the self weight 100 let this plane have an inclination of 30 degree so this 30 degree same 30 degree is going to come over here so this component is 100 cos 30 cos component and this component is 100 sin 30 in a friction topic we are going to apply conditions of equilibrium therefore applying on applying conditions of equilibrium I write apply conditions of equilibrium are simply COE. There are three conditions of equilibrium exist namely summation Fx that is all the forces along x axis equal to zero, summation Fy that is all the forces along y axis vertical as well as moment at any point is also zero. Over here we will first write number of unknowns that is what we want to find here number of unknowns are there number of unknowns first one P is P force that is this force second one is N let consider mu having value 0.3 mu is coefficient of friction it has value lesser than 1 always so apply conditions of equilibrium if we apply summation Fy equal to 0. For vertical forces, the force which is going vertically up is considered positive and the force which is coming down is considered negative. That is along y axis, upward forces are plus. Therefore this N force is going up. So I'll write plus N for that. Plus N positive sign indicates that force direction this force is moving up whereas force always written in the brackets next one 100 cos 30 which is coming downwards so I write minus minus for its direction because this force is coming down and this 100 cos 30 I write this force in the bracket so when we calculate this value on calculators we got n equals 86.60 newton unit of force is always newton if this value is in terms of kilogram kg 100 kg 
So we will simply multiply it by 9.81 to convert kilogram into newtons. But over here, it's already given in terms of newton. Let's apply the second conditions of equilibrium, that is summation fx. Summation fx stands for all the forces along the x-axis only. Over here, the inclined plane is there, so we will consider any force along this inclined plane going upwards is positive and the force which is coming down the plane is considered negative. So this first force is force P which is going up the plane, so I write plus P for that. The again plus sign indicates its direction that force is moving up the plane. Next one, this force minus mu into L that is frictional force is there. So it comes down the plane, down the plane is considered minus mu is, we know the value of mu as 0.3 into m is 86.60 all right mu n values and third force is 100 sin 30 that is minus 100 sin 30 all these three forces are there first one force is going upwards and another two forces are coming downwards on the calculations we will get the value of p as 35 newton that is that means to move this block up, 35 newton force is required when the coefficient of friction is 0.3. To study the subject in briefly in terms of concepts as well as in technical sense, please join nearest Vidyalankar branches. And remember, be sure with Vidyalankar. Thank you.